Today, we're heading far outside the city to an abandoned property. Um, it's a pretty old one. I heard it's been around since the 1940s, and it's in quite the middle of nowhere. So we're making a trip out there. I've got a big GMC dually with me today and a little uh, Polaris in case we have to tow something, uh, you know, out of a secret barn or something. I don't know. Hopefully, we, we find a vehicle uh, or at least get some money back from this property. But like I said, it's going to be a risky day today because we're going off-roading um, on some dirt roads to get there. So it's going to be a very difficult commute. But, you know, we'll make it there for sure. So drop a thumbs up. We need all the thumbs ups we can get to get out there safely. Also, guys, before we get today's video started, if you haven't subscribed yet, do that today because, you know, you could have bragging rights for being in my first 100,000 subscribers. So if you want to claim that, subscribe today. We're uh, only 4,000 slots left, so make sure you subscribe. Anyhow, hold on. Let me pull my GPS. I'll show you where we're going. So currently, you can see we're on the map right here. We're going to be taking a right down this blue path, which is the off-roading uh, portion of it. And then we're going to get around this area where that little circle is. And that's where, you know, the treasure is, where the X marks the spot. And, uh, you know, hopefully we find something out of this new land property. I heard it's next to an old church, so uh, it should be a pretty giveaway, uh, you know, wherever it is. But like I said, there is nothing out here. I mean, just look at the brush, all these bushes everywhere. I mean, there's really nothing. I mean, these roads are not maintained. You can see my suspension's about to break. Not fun. Oh, nice little bridge crossing there. Oh my gosh, we are flying. But hold on, I can see something in the distance there. There's the old church. Check it out. Hasn't been around since the 1980s. But looks like that's our property right there, the old barn. Uh, yep, that's it. Looks like the coordinates are correct. Okay, we should be good. Oh my gosh, this place is a mess. Look at this. All right, we're going to back the trailer in just so we can, uh, you know, have all of our tools with us in case we need to break open the door. There we go. Straight back. Looks good. Oh, there we go. Oh no, what is going on? All right, there's a gigantic ditch right here. Oh my gosh, I have to drive in that. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, nice and easy. Don't want to break the truck suspension. Okay, we're good. We made it. Let's go ahead and throw it in park right there. Perfect. Yep, I think that's certified. Looks good. And here is our Polaris General. Very nice. The 1000. And I'm excited. All right, we got a pair of uh, pliers. Should be able to break open the lock. Where's that? It's over here. Ready? Here we go. All right, I snapped it. All right, now we got to roll it open here. All right, the door should roll. Looks good. All right, perfect. Got the door open. Oh, wow. This is like a bunch of junk around here. Oh, wow. What? They got an American flag in a building? You can't do that. All right, we got an old lion statue, some garbage bikes. Oh, my gosh. What are these old containers here? Oh, they don't open. Great. We don't know what's in them, uh, but we can figure out how to get them open. Just don't know right now. Uh, we got some boxes here. Oh, some old tractor tires. You know, we could probably uh, reuse those, but the tread looks pretty toast on them. Some old barrels. Let me open them up, see if there's anything. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. There's some stinky corn in there. Oh, no. I can't I can't eat any of that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wait. What is this? I did, my back was turned the whole time to this thing. What? This is, a, this is a Ford. I know because if you look at the front end of it, check it out. See that right down there? There's the Ford logo. Oh my gosh, it's the V8. See that 8 logo right there? That's a V8. No way, this is a classic. Hold on, I know a lot about this car. This is 1940s. Hold on, let's see if I can guess the year. In 1945, they changed the wood material to this uh, this little soft material in here. Yep, it's a 46. I knew it. 1946. Wow, this is, uh, this is a nice one. They've got the radio in this bad boy. Look at that. They didn't put those in until, uh, I think, 1946 either. Well, this has got all the features in it. The full leather. Oh, my gosh. Awesome. It's got the roll-up windows. No way. I mean, it is convertible. Oh, what just happened? It turned over for a second, but it wasn't firing. Hold on. Let me give it one more shot. Come on, old girl. Oh. Okay, I think we got it running. Oh my gosh, it just died. So if you check it out right down there, there is our oil pressure, and we're not getting uh, enough pressure to get the engine to stay running, uh, which is not good. So we're not able to, to drive it. Well, that sucks, but 
Uh, we have a trunk back here. Uh, we can get that open, but I won't. I don't want to break it or anything, so we're going to take it back to the shop. But what I think we should do is grab the Polaris and try and tow this thing onto the trailer, but currently our ramps are not level, so we need to back the pickup a little bit more. All right, let's do this in the best way possible without breaking anything. All right, we're going to have to turn for a second. There we go. Let it warm up. Pressure's good. All right, we could be backing up. All right, I think it's level. Let's check out the ramps. Maybe a little more. All right, tell me it's good. Oh, yeah, okay, that's good enough. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the uh, Polaris General. Gonna hop in there. I got the keys here. Fire it up. All right, it's running. We got the winch on the back. And we have a winch on the front. So what I'm going to actually use is the winch on the front to pull this uh, 1946 convertible out of the shed. But that was sweet. I didn't think we were going to, you know, find anything in the shed because at first it looked like junk. But when I walked in this building, you know, there was just, you know, the look of it was just terrible. Until I looked to my left and I found this classic car. But the condition it'll be in is that we could sell for high $80,000. Uh, so in the $80,000, $87,000, I'd say. So that's not a bad price, but let's go ahead and attach the winch here. We got a hook. All right. We have to connect it to the back, though. There's no attach points on the front, but we should be able to tow it out. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's turning, but the only problem is it's going to be like a fighting game with this car. Because I have to keep going in and turning the wheel. Oh, my gosh. I just tried to turn it on again. All right. Well, let's do our best to get it on the trailer. Like I said, it's not going to be perfect. But we'll get it up there. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Alright, this isn't working good. Uh, here, I have an idea. What we're going to do is we're going to completely spin the whole car around. Oh no, this is not going good. Alright, give me one second. I'm going to reattach the winch. While I was at it, I found the light switch. Check out those bulbs. Those things are old. Those are, uh, you know, back in the day. That's all they had. But, you know, it provides enough light so we can tow this car out of here. And check it out. There is the power plant over there to power the church uh, that is currently abandoned and this building. Um, but look at this thing. It's so old. There is really nothing going on here. But, yeah, I mean, it, it just powers just enough for, like, five light bulbs. The street lights out here, I don't know if those work. I doubt it because they're not wired direct, but I don't know. All right, we're going to tow this out of here. Let's grab the general. Uh, let's see. Oh, it tows just fine. We're kind of in a situation here. We're going to have to, like, pull on the winch a lot to get this car out of here. Uh, is there a way to release it? Okay, there we go. All right. All right, we're getting somewhere. I'm dragging the car. It's not working good, but I'm glad we... Oh, my gosh, I just hit it. But I'm glad we brought this uh, general out here to tow it on the trailer. I didn't think it was going to be this tricky. All right, here we go. Ready? It's going up on the trailer. All right, it's working good. All right, I have an idea now. So I detach the truck, tow it. There we go. A little bit more. Okay, that's good. We can uh, we can detach it here before it snaps. All right, there we go. Drive the general off. Okay. There you go. That's how you get the car on the trailer. I think that's successful. We we got the car on the trailer. That was the main goal today. Obviously, I don't want any of this junk. Uh, let's just close up the doors. And let's list a property uh, for sale online, and we'll call it a day. But before we do leave, though, we got to check around the property, see what else is going on, see what uh, is around here. There's no farmable land. There's no sustainable farming. Uh, there's no irrigation, so that's a problem. Oh, my gosh. Look at this old church. Drop a thumbs up if you guys want to explore this old church. Maybe there's something inside that it's hiding. You know, drop a thumbs up. If you want to see that, maybe we'll go tour the abandoned church. Let me know down in the comments. And uh, yeah, it was a pretty successful day. You have to say we found a classic 1946 Ford convertible with the V8 engine. So guys, thank you for watching today's video. Remember, if you enjoy these type of videos, drop a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.